What's happening, fellas? Welcome back to another Bromley match reaction. We have won a game of football for the first time in over two months. We beat an high fly in Doncaster who actually went into kickoff second in the league, looking to gain top spot in a topsy turvy League Two season. I can't even predict who's going to win. I can't even predict who's going to go down or get playoffs or even finish top half or even finish anywhere, mate, because the league, it changes every single week. And we're 19th. We're 19th. We're 19th. We are 19th on virtue of that victory alone. We are 19th. Now, imagine if we had won the Tranmere game. We could have been 15th. But you know what? It is what it is. We were unlucky that day. But hopefully, the pulling gods nice us, please. Hopefully, we see a winning run of form. We got Barra on the weekend. And Rochdale in the FA Cup away from home. So looking forward to both those games. But oh, Grant Smith. Grant Smith in the team of the week. Meaning that he obviously did amazing things in this match. And also the lineup. I actually like the lineup. No Michael Cheat there. Levi Amantechi up front. All six foot seven of him, mate. Get some presence up there. Up top. As well, he lined up with Olomolo to the right-hand side of him. Whitey to the left-hand side of him. But then defence. Webster comes back into the fence. Callum Reynolds drops out. This is what I'm saying. Callum Reynolds. I don't want to see this guy play play a Bromley shirt ever again. Unless it's, unless it's in a meaningless, pointless competition. I don't want to see him put on that Bromley shirt. Because let's be honest, he's not good enough, bro. And yeah, he might be vice-captain, but come on, man. Our captain has got to play Byron Webster, the leader at the back. This is what I'm saying. With Omar, with Omar to the right-hand side of him and Grant to the left-hand side of him. Man, that is a defence. Obviously, I don't know where Deji's at. I don't know where Josh Pasley's at, but Emery looks like a good loan signing as well. Bring, we bring in Carl Jenkinson to see up the game. And we brought in Jude Arthurs and Louis Dennis as well. Just to play out time. That's what it was. But overall, clean sheet against a high flying team, man. I will take that all day long. Take it all day long as well. Not to mention, yes, Doncaster had the most shots. We actually had a fair few shot opportunities, shooting opportunities as well. And we utilized our best weapon. Which is our set pieces. And the corner kick wasn't well executed. But still led to the only goal of the game. So overall by Benny, Benny Thompson. So overall I'm quite happy. Let's see how we played. Let's go. Delays his pass, waits for Gibson to arrive. Back it goes to Molyneux. He took on the shot. It was always a high degree of difficulty to curl that one around Webster and get it to dip. Uh. 
Outside of wanted fragrances are like pheromones. They are very attractive. All the parfum intense, my favorite one. Well, he came to show, he decided to go forward to Gordon Gibson. And into the penalty area they go with Harry Clifton. Gibson, he can pull the trigger from there, and the header was an attempt at clearing it from Byron Webster, and it was no more than six inches wide of that post. Could have been an embarrassing moment there for the former Doncaster man. Goalkeeper totally beaten. Steri tries to fizz that into the feet of Kelly, who turns. And he plays it into the area again for Gibson. Done well to keep that in. And everybody appeals for it. And the referee says corner. <laughs> Fizzed in by Molyneux and it bounces outside of the penalty area. And that's a terrific shot and a super save from Grant Smith and it had to be. Came from some distance out from James Maxwell. He hit very nearly 30 yards out on the fullback. Whipped on top. And Smith again. The shot will ricochet for Kelly on another excellent save. Smith to the rescue for Bromley. Not for the first time. Out it comes to Molyneux again. Doncaster keep the pressure on. The shot's deflected up and over. Good spell here from promotion chasing Doncaster Rovers. Smith takes a free kick as Bromley hope to relieve a little bit of pressure. So Rumi with the powerful forward header looking for the run of Valamola. Oh, the rough side against Imre, but he's obviously said the right side of the line. And Olamola has chopped it up and over the bar. It wasn't an easy chance. He looks bitterly disappointed with himself. But it's coming quite quickly. Perhaps ever so slightly, maybe slightly behind him, or certainly straight at him. <laughs> now they break the Manchi to Imre. And drive on from here. Maxwell with the block, corner for Bromley. It's Lewis Lee across to take it. But Atayo is forward. It's drilled in to the... And it's still the chance, and a goal! Well, it didn't work out exactly as they planned. But, boy, it's worked out well for Ben Thompson. There was a clear plan there from Bromley. It was from the training ground. But then there was a miscontrol. But it worked so well that he had time to have another bite and Bromley have taken the lead and he made a mess of the first one arguably got a little bit of luck because it wrong footed so many of the defenders and he slammed Bromley in front Manchi tries to drive on super tackle by McGrath and then a turn by Gibson is there room for him to burst through the middle got to be dealt with and it wasn't, and now hacked off the line, and then Smith has to make another save, and finally it goes behind. Well, Kelly came closest in the midst of that scramble, and Bromley survived. Grant Smith 
with another deep clearance flicked on by a Manchi to Onomola now taken on again by Thompson Lee Odetayo Lewis oh. Lee for Bromley and he fancies a long range shot and the goalkeeper scrambles it behind it's a long way out trying his luck here Lee 30 yards out, bounced awkwardly. Hello, Wilk. For Bailey. And for Luke Molyneux. Jinx inside. Up to the edge of the penalty area, Kelly goes on. And then the shot comes from Clifton. It was juggled a little bit by Smith this time. He made the save in the end. For a couple of moments where other Doncaster players might have been able to get shots away. Clifton. Gibson. He chested down and Kelly's denied. Another super save. So close to a first senior goal there, young Patrick Kelly. And known from West Ham, Northern Ireland Youth International. Excellent work by Smith. That puts the goalkeeper under a little bit of pressure. He doesn't deal with particularly well. It was good broadbent. What he wants as a goalkeeper is a little bit of um, curl as he fisted around. Massive, big up the Bromley Massive, big up the Bromley Massive, big up the Bromley Massive, you get me? Big up the Bromley Massive. Shout out to all of you that made the trip down Tuesday, up Tuesday in that. Yeah. <laughs> Bromley with the corner. It goes towards the, the back post and it's a scramble and an opportunity. And a terrific save by Sharman Lowe to deny a Manchi. Must have thought that he got what would have been a killer goal there, Levi Amanchi. Such a scramble and it bounced around, but it's an excellent work by Sharman Lowe. And Hurst. Molyneux. Into the penalty area, Yaboa with a touch, and a shot that goes over. Appeals all round. And an interesting call. He pretty sure that bounced up of his hand before he had the shot there, Yaboa. The referee had seen that. Time's up, really. Will the referee find any more? The supporters are heading to the exits. And Bromley are heading to a win. What a win! But the new boys in the Football League, their first since the middle of August. 11 games without in all competitions. They've come to inform Doncaster Rovers and they've beaten them. Disappointment for Grant McCann, their excellent little run comes to an end. All down to a cleverly worked corner. It's a good away win for Bromley. They will suit well after the long journey back south. Big up the Bromley Massive. Big up the Bromley Massive. We won a game of football. So I'm happy. Guys, subscribe, like this video. Peace out. More match reactions. More match day vlogs coming as well. Need to. I'm coming. I'm coming. Pause.